Welcome back everybody. I'm in the car and I didn't heed the advice of the BioU guru and turn my phone onto airplane mode while I recorded this. But, so I'm re-recording it. I'm at the post. I picked up a package. Most of these I've already uh, shown you guys before. I've gotten in other other shipments, but uh, a couple of these I haven't. And... Well, one, only one of these I haven't, so we'll show you that now. It's the McClellan Navy Cavendish, matured Virginia. I can't tell if that's focusing or not. Either way, the uh, it sort of intrigued me, you know, the, the, the description that, you know, we reintroduced the smoker to the traditional Navy Cavendish. So I think that word traditional is what sort of hooked me as to, oh, let me sign, let me try the way it used to be. You know, a lot of folks, including me, long for days that we never were in, but uh, not knowing how bad it probably was back then. But anyway, pressed into cakes, aged naturally with dark Jamaican rum to achieve its rich depth of flavor, color, and aroma. So I picked that up. I also picked up some check tools and a tin of uh, a pair of teeth and another tin of uh, the 40th anniversary for me to open. Uh, a couple of p people commented on the 40th anniversary, so I ordered another tin of it to specifically open now. <laughs> so in the next few days, I'll be, I'll be opening a few more tobaccos and uh, maybe doing another uh, series of first tastes. I still have some GLPs to do, and I think I have three tens of GLPs that I haven't I haven't gotten got to yet. I have a I have I think it's a Sutliff cube cut um, Burley, but uh, I need to get to that I haven't done. And other than that, I've got um, I think some more cigar stuff coming in. I was. Um, Looking at uh, uh, watching a few of uh, the Bayou again. Speaking of the Bayou Guru, I was watching a few. Of, I do this. I mentioned this in the last video that didn't that didn't upload. I I grab my ear a lot when I'm in the car. It seems like it's weird. Anyway, and uh, he mentioned that he hadn't been getting some notifications on uh, his channel about uh, comments and things. Uh, I don't I don't have that problem. Uh, I don't have. A whole, I mean, uh, to me, I have a lot of subscribers, but I don't have a whole lot of folks that actually comment. Um, so, I, in a way, I'm blessed with the the time to be able to respond to anybody that that does comment. So, if you have anything to uh, you know suggest for me, uh, please do. Uh, especially if it has you know concern with uh, maybe how I film or more things, more information that you may want with the things that I'm reviewing that I that I don't go into in the video or that you'd like to see in future videos. And so, you know, please do that, comment and uh let me know what you guys think with with all that uh all that stuff. The only other thing that I can say is I do have a few more pipe tobacco orders coming in. I believe well, I know I have the ones, the the single ones of, of like Dark Flake and Navy Flake and Durbar. I think I have an extra Durbar coming. Ones I can open. Uh, I was watching Justin Taylor's video on on Durbar, and I, I just couldn't help myself. I was like, I I almost ordered another sleeve just off of his excitement over how much he enjoys that. And once I open the ten, I may I may have that same feeling. So. Maybe I'll order some more of that after after I try the uh, Durbar out, but I go with the ear again. Other than that, I do have some more cigars coming in. Uh, I'm waiting on the CigarDaily.com package that I ordered. Um, I'm a little worried. I did order a, a little humidor with that with that order, uh, thinking that that would be my daily semi-daily humidor. The sticks that I would grab out of there, and I my larger humidor I would just keep, you know, to store things. But it's it's 
quickly become apparent that I need more humidor space. So I may have to go, at least initially, go to one of the tupper doors or cooler doors or something like that uh, to keep larger quantity, you know, boxes of stuff um, out of the humidor. I've already actually removed the boxes out of my humidor and it's still it's too much. Com considering what they suggest, they, the industry, humidor industry suggests keeping it 75% full, I think is what they suggest. I would, I would say my humidor is, um, 95% full, so it's too much in there. And also, for anyone, I'm new with the humidor business, so anyone who else is new with the humidor business, know this. I would say when they suggest a quantity that the humidor will hold, cut that in half, because they, I think that's the maximum that they that they say you can get in there, and I would assume that would be 100% full. And also, they would be the little you know, little nubs or little you know Arturo Fuente, the little Hemingways. Um, you know, mine's supposed to hold 250 cigars, and there's not 250 cigars in there. So I would suggest that get the biggest one you can afford, and count on only being able to store half of that so uh, other than that I would say look into the uh, the cooler doors or humidors and which I will be doing too uh, here pretty soon because I, I a lot of these that I, you've seen I have boxes of stuff that you guys haven't seen that I purchased before doing the video and trying to keep them humidified in my humidor I ended up with too many loose sticks, so I've had to take them out of the boxes and put them in the humidor, because a lot of times the boxes take up a lot of space. So, anyway, so that's what I've done so far. But I'd like to put them back in their boxes, just because, mainly because I want to keep them out of my hands. <laughs> you know, I'd like to keep them for, you know, three years, five years, ten years. And if they're in the boxes in a separate place, that's going to be safer for them, for me not messing with them, you know. Uh, of course, I'll have to maintain them some kind of way. I'll have to check on them, that sort of thing. That's all part of my, I'll have to learn, you know, learning curve with all of that. But other than that, I guess that's uh, too much cigar talk and not enough pipe talk. So... I want to say thank you guys for watching. And if you like the video, leave a like, leave a comment with uh, any suggestions or uh, uh, likes, dislikes about the video, and we'll get back with you. So, later guys. Thanks.